there, how you doing? This is Dean Etheridge, and I wanted to talk today about a subject that a lot of people really don't understand, and it's, to be honest, it's one of the toughest things to overcome when you're getting involved in internet marketing, and that is how to SEO your video or, or your blog or to, to get you some good, solid presence out there on the internet. And for me, video marketing is one of the, the better things that I do, and I'm just shooting this on a cellular phone, so I'm trying to show you how you can do videos just with the equipment that you already have. This is a cell phone with a, a high def camera on it, so it's, it's not expensive. Uh, we're not talking about a big budget item. I painted this wall uh, for 20 bucks using Rust-Oleum dry erase paint. And so it's very affordable, but I really wanna dig into how you can separate yourself on video and your blogs from some of the other people that you compete with out there. Uh, if somebody's just posting one video on YouTube, and they don't have the proper tools, that's okay. A video will do okay, but even for free, we can do some things that can help boost our video rankings, but also on the back side of that, it will help our blog rankings as well. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And let's start, everything starts with a blog, okay? It's not just, you know, we can't just have a video and it goes to nothing. We have to have a link or, you know, they're not gonna call a phone number most of the time. They need to go back to a capture page or a blog page so they can find out more information about you as a person or as a business. So with that said, I want a capture page that has, you know, put your email address and your name here and I'll follow up with a series of videos to create a funnel. Okay, so everybody, all the top marketers talk about funnel and what they're doing is they're just getting an email, putting you into the funnel, auto responders, It keeps dripping on you time after time after time. And you know, after about six or seven times of getting some of their content, you may like it, you may not, you may opt out of the, the autoresponder, but that's typically what most marketers are trying to do. But what they're doing is they're shotgunning their information. They're not, not just sending one video out to YouTube and that's all they're doing. They need to have those the videos with backlinks and also the blogs with backlinks. And I want to talk to you about that real quick. So as I mentioned, Everything starts with a blog, okay? And there's all kinds of video channels out there. The big one, of course, is YouTube, okay? No brainer, and we know that YouTube drives traffic. I mean, there, I saw the other day that uh, I think there's four billion views a day on YouTube or something like that, it's just crazy. But for, for every minute there's hours there's 28 hours of video being uploaded on YouTube something crazy like that so video marketing works YouTube is, is the 800 pound gorilla in that space so we definitely want to get a presence here on YouTube but if I just send one video out there and I don't have any other links that doesn't give my video that much strength it's not going to rank as well as it would if I have other links but with a blog, okay, I'll create a blog post, and, and I made one yesterday about creating a whiteboard, and, and, and this one too, how to rank your, this information I'm not going to give to everybody, this is just for subscribers, or people that are coming on to my website, I'm not going to send this all out, out all over the place trying to get this ranked, because I want to keep this kind of private for my viewers, but if I was sharing this with the world like I want to with the whiteboard, and they can come back and get the rest of this information, I would go out, to article sites, okay? And I have spinning software, okay? You may believe in spinning, you may not, but it's important even with your, your YouTube videos, you wanna spin your content, you know, if it's a four or 500 word blog, um, you wanna spin that content and use it in your descriptions in YouTube, we'll get to that in a minute. But on your article sites, I wanna take either an excerpt of my whole blog, Spin that article, but I want to take this embed code. Okay? I want to take this embed code and I want to enter that in my articles. If I've got 10 article sites, e-zine articles, uh, work from home articles, uh, home business articles, you know, any of these article sites, I want to put that video and embed that. Let's just say 
that I did that 10 times. That's kind of telling the search engines that my video is popular enough to get put out on this and embedded in these article sites. They don't have to know that it's me, but they think that somebody else took my video and embedded it. But that gives my, my Dean Etheridge blog, SEO, called Link Juice back to here. But I've got 10 other links to this video which gives SEO back to that video. Okay, so I'm getting SEO from my blog, but I'm also getting SEO from my YouTube video. So let's compare that to the person that just has one blog, no article sites, no other embed codes for the video. Who's going to rank more? I mean, to the search engines, it looks like, okay, this there's a lot of relevant content out here a lot of people like this YouTube video, so I'm going to rank that YouTube video well. But that also brings SEO back to here, to my main blog. So we're using these, and the big one here, social media is where the rubber meets the road. Okay, Today, it's not just about all these links. These are good, but they're not... They're not as important as they used to be. Social media is where it's at as far as SEO likes and shares. And there's a company called, there's two, th two tools that I use that I highly recommend. And the first one is TriPro. Okay, what TriPro is, and this is a longer video, but I can't explain video marketing and SEO in just one section. I'm just showing you a broad overview and I'll dig down later on in this series about really how to really do this and show you with screenshots but I just want to give you an overview of what we're doing with social media. Social media being Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, you know Twitter, all, all, Pinterest, all these other places but I've got if I send that out to my YouTube video out to social media, out to the world, okay, that gets me link use back to my YouTube video, okay, and it may have, I may want to link my blog and get SEO back to, back to my blog through my social media channels, and I use TriPro, which has about 40 different social media links, okay, they have, uh, I mean, you name it. They've got, they've got the top 40 or so social media links, but everybody in TriPro is somebody like you and I that wants to get more likes, more shares, and more SEO for our content. So it's like we're joining a club, and I agree to share your content if you'll share mine. Okay, so I'll syndicate yours automatically. This puts it on autopilot. When I submit an article on my blog to TriPro, it goes out to TriPro, and it will get shared, let's say, a thousand times within an hour or two hours, which what that does is that tells the search engines, like, hey, this is pretty cool content. A lot of people liked it. So it, it gives me backlinks back to what? My SEOs back to my blog with likes and shares from social media. So I've got my own social media strategy, and I use TriPro, and I submit it out to 40 different networks, but I'm also doing that. I'll get to this one in a minute, but Traffic Geyser. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about Traffic Geyser in a minute. I want to stay with TriPro for a minute because it's the best tool that you can use. Now, this is automatically done through my blog post. Once I create an article and I submit that, it goes to TriPro. Now, the next thing that I do, if I really want to rank a video, I'm going to go spin my content, spin my article, put it in article sites, embed the YouTube video in those articles in 10 or 15 different places. That gives me 10 more links than, than the average person submitting videos, videos on YouTube. I'm getting bookmarks and shares from Traffic Geyser, and I'll go into that in a minute. But just the basics, I'm 10 times up on over, over my competition over what they have just because I've done this. Okay, that's step one. But then I go to my blog and it tells TriPro and all these other members that my blog's pretty cool. I'm getting some likes and shares from LinkedIn, from Twitter, and, and that kind of thing from other members, not just me. So it's, it's kind of forcing the search engines to say, hey, this is good content, but it's a sharing arrangement. 
But I'm not done there. If I really want to rank a video and make that relevant, I'll take this video and stick it in TriPro. I can put a piece of content into TriPro, and just like my blog got ranked or, or shared a thousand times, within an hour or so, my video stays up on a screen. And TriPro is full of network marketers, small business owners, attorneys, real estate agents that, that understand SEO and they understand that social media, it's, uh, it's called social signal. That's the most powerful way to get your content ranked. You can't really cheat the system like you used to with a, a thousand backlinks with bogus content. That, those days are kind of gone. So it gives the average person like you a chance to compete right now with some SEO gurus that really know what they're doing. But I'll take my video, put it in TriPro, it gets a thousand shares and likes and, and comments and all that kind of thing too within that community of TriPro, which are other network marketers or small business owners, which is really the audience that I want to reach. So it does a couple of things. I'm getting my SEO back to my blog from TriPro, but I'm also, if I want to rank a video, some of my videos suck, okay, and I don't want to, I don't want to really do the extra work to get those ranked. But if they're a good one, I want to submit that to TriPro and get that out there and get a thousand likes and shares on it. So with that, that's, that's the most important component of your SEO. This, this is okay. This is kind of advanced because I'm using Traffic Geyser to do my article sites. If you're having to manually do this, it will take you way too much time. But with Traffic Geyser, when I submit, I don't just go to YouTube and submit my video. So, so let's back up and talk about Traffic Geyser for a minute, okay? It's got about 70 different locations where I can submit content to. And we talked about the article sites. It's tough to do this on your own, but with Traffic Geyser, I've got about 15 different article sites I can submit to. It submits to 30 or so different social media sites. 20 or so uh, video sites like Gawker and Vimeo and Vio. So I'm getting my content out there, kind of shotgunned, if you will, through Traffic Geyser, and it does that over a week-long period of time, a month-long period of time, and you're not going to get in trouble for it. It's kind of a natural submission to where it tells the search engines this isn't a bunch of spam that's thrown out there. It's done over a several-day period. But what happens is, I'll upload my video to Traffic Geyser. Traffic Geyser, let's just do this. This is 20 other video sites, okay, that it will submit to, but it's going to submit my video to YouTube. And then it's got about 20 or so bookmarking sites too. Okay, so I submit my video to YouTube, and I, I don't want this to be too complicated because it's all automated. These are tools, and the, these are what the pros use. And this is why they outrank you on their videos. This is why they beat you on your articles and all that because they have all this link juice flowing, and, and there's arrows drawn everywhere. Okay, But automatically, when I submit my video uploaded into Traffic Geyser, it goes out to YouTube, but it's also going out to these other video sites. And on Daily Motion, Daily Motion and YouTube are the top two video sites that you can go to. I'm getting about 20 <coughs> different bookmarks or backlinks to my video on Daily Motion and YouTube right away once I submit that into Traffic Geyser. So I've got more link juice there. I've got 10 more links with my article sites if I'm wanting to rank one really well. And then I go into TriPro and I submit it into TriPro, that same content, and I submit it into LinkedIn and all my social media, my groups and everything like that. I start to get all this, this flow of traffic and most of this is on autopilot. When I SEO an article, I'm, I'm doing my on-page SEO and we've got another you know, video series that shows you how to do on-page SEO. But this is kind of the dynamic of Traffic Geyser. TriPro is the number one tool that you can get. Okay, for video or for blogging, it's very simple. It's about you know fifty dollars a month with OnlyWire, which is a social media service that automatically submits your content. It's on autopilot. You don't have to do it over and over. 
okay? <clears throat> but with Traffic Geyser, I do a lot with video, and it's $97 a month. But it helps me do all this submission on autopilot as well. It gives me links to my videos, and it's just getting my content shot out to, you know, one video should go out to about 60 different locations instantly. And then by the time I submit it into TriPro and it starts to go out through all the other members to their 40 different networks and that kind of thing, you know, it just tells the search engines, it tells Google that, hey, this is pretty good content. So that's what the pros do. A lot of them, they're using other tools, maybe Social, Mon Social Monkey to, to get some other benefits from or, or some other backlinks to their content. But, but this is SEO from a, a 10,000 foot view. And you need TriPro, that's the number one tool. The second tool I would use is some kind of video submission software. Uh, Magic Submitter is another one that's very good, but it's kind of an advanced video submission service, but you can get a lot of links, 2,000 different links. And if you start to get all these links coming back to your YouTube video, that's how you start climbing the rankings, and you start getting likes and comments, and you send it out to your your network of, of people in your autoresponder, <clears throat> these guys already like you. So they'll probably comment, ask them to comment on your video. The more comments, the more thumbs up on your videos, the higher that goes up in the, the video views and the rankings on YouTube. So I hope that helps you understand really how SEO works, um, you know, again, from a high level view. but. I'm going to be doing some screenshots that shows you how I do this real time in my next video. Well, again, I hope you enjoy this and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, everybody.